Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to answer those few questions of all about Qatar Airways again. Because from the last video that I uploaded, <clears throat> I got a few questions on the comments and also there are more questions on the first video about how I did my Qatar Airways, Qatar Airways interview. So I'm just gonna answer a few of them. Hello, after submitting the mandatory documents, how many times to wait for the next step, please? So I'm just gonna tell you all the timeline for the Qatar Airways interview. I mean, 2021, November, 2021, November 2nd, I got an invitation for Sonru video interview for Qatar Airways first. And then on 4th, I completed the online interview because that was the COVID-19 period. So it was, we needed to, we needed to do the Swan Roo first before we actually do the uh, interview in person. And on 11th, I went, I flew to Poland from Korea to take the test, take the interview. And on 14, I had the first in interview for Qatari Ways at Pol in Poland. And 16, I got the final interview. That was the second and final. And on 24, I got a link, which is which is about to unload the photo of blue background. And generally, it means that you pass the interview. But after that, I got an email to submit the photo of my scar like I told you last time I got a scar on my ear and on the interview day the interviewer asked me about this scar and then after that after I got the link to unload the photos I got an, another email on January 6 that I got rejected to be a cabin crew so that's the that's the whole timeline of my process but I think there might be some difference, a little difference, and it depends on the country and the situations. But yeah, generally it doesn't take that long to get a link to upload the photo. And if you want to delay the joining date, you can do that if you want. Like they're really flexible with with it. If you have another job already and you need more time to to join to Qatari Ways, if you tell them about it, they're really flexible about it and they can adjust you. I am currently applying for a cabin crew for Qatar Airlines and I think I have passed my final interview. I sent all documents and the last thing they asked me was where my departure point was. However, I haven't heard back from them after three weeks. Is there a possibility where you will get rejected after they ask for your departure point? Honestly, I don't, I don't understand this question 100%. They ask you for departure point was? As I understand this question, does it mean that maybe like where where did you come from to take the interview if the interview region is different from your home? Well, I'm not really sure what do you mean by like departure point. Yeah, but if you haven't heard back from them after three weeks, there might be possibility to get uh to get an email from them after that but mostly you'll get you'll get contact you'll get an email before three weeks mostly less than two weeks if you have passed hi can you tell me on how they do scar check tests do they check the whole body or just the parts that are visible while wearing the uniform your help would be highly appreciated so like I told you before from my previous video of uh, about Qatar Ways interview, from my experience, they didn't check 
they didn't uh they didn't ask to like take off the jacket or something like that because it was winter and i was wearing a jacket so the only thing they checked was the face neck ear and then hand area but not like legs and arms really like specifically but it might be different if you take the inner if you have the interview in summertime because it's all visible already if you wear a short sleeve shirt so i think that could be different case by case in every different situation and also one person left a comment that she got a she got a exactly same scar looking like this like mine so she asked me if they if they asked me to do the surgery to link it to link the scar because she heard that other people when they got caught off the small scar they replied back that they will get the treatment to get rid of it and then they got passed after that so she is considering to get a surgery to to get rid of the scar so for this comment what i really think is that if you are if the Qatar Airways doesn't accept you because of this kind of scar that you already have i think do you really need to do the surgery to go into the Qatar Airways because I really understand like how desperate you are when you when you prepare and prepare for the interview and prepare to be a cabin crew but actually there are so many other companies so many other airways in the world and you can do any job if you any job you wanted if you really try your best so I don't really think that it's really necessary to do the surgery to to become a Qatar racing cabin crew because if you have the eligibility and if you have the ability passion you can do a cabin crew at, in other airways of course and also there are a lot of other countries that you can work so I don't really think it's really necessary and yeah i just don't want you to do that honestly if you are my friend i would never let you do that will i be accepted if i still have a dental braces honestly that couldn't be the reason to fail your interview but if i were you i would just remove it i wouldn't recommend having a braces dental braces on your interview day because you know for the cabin crew interview you have to you have to put on a big smile all the time and the smile face is the most important important thing that you are looking for so yeah i would suggest you to remove it on your interview day if it, if that's possible but if you cannot remove it just don't think about it and have a big smile as much as you can that's really important part for your interview. Hello, Miki. I want to ask how fluent we should in English for the interview. I'm good at English, but my sk speaking skills are sometimes sucks. And I'm a bit introvert type one. So yeah, I hope it'll, it'll get a reply for this ASAP because I have my interview after next month. Thank you for this interview. So I cannot... Uh, I cannot say like exactly how fluent you should be on your interview day, but at least you have to you have to be able to express your thinkings and be able to answer those few those questions, interview questions like fluently. So you don't need to worry too much about like you don't you definitely don't really need to be um native speakers level but at least enough to answer a few questions on your interview
Hello Nikki, thanks for making this video and I was wondering if the recruiters will take a close look at interviewers' face to examine their skin conditions and if they did, did they check your face with only eyes or with spotlight on your face or other gorgeous? And last question is what color of lipstick did you put on for the interview? Thank you. Uh, from my my interview, from my interview of Contrarways, they examined just with their own eyes, but they're really good at it. And the distance between the interviewer and interviewer is super close. It's almost like if you sit down, your your knee would be like just in front of their knees. So it's really, really close. And their eyes are so catch, catching, they're so good at catching your, your spots, scars, and they would probably ask questions when they find out something but they don't use other gadgets and I also heard that when I prepare for the Qatari's interview from like for those interview from other countries there were some interviewers who put the interviewers like just in front of the window and under the sunlight so that they can check the skin thoroughly but from my interview, they didn't do that, but just, just in, just, they were, they were sat in, sitting in front of the window. And I was, I was sitting in front of them. So the sunlight was confronting me, but not, not like directly under the sun. But still, they're really good at catching just all of the, the scars and what color of lipstick did you put on of course it's the red lips you have to know that if you are gonna have an interview for Qatar Airways or Emirates you better put on red lipsticks at Tihad they prefer pink lips because you know that every each, every Airways they have the different theme for the color of their of the lipsticks of cabin crew so you can simply search it and see the regulations of their makeups when they work. So Qatar Airways is burgundy lips or red lips, Emirates red lips, and Etihad they do pink lips or like slight purple. So for the airway airlines in Middle East, I would suggest you to put on red lips because that's the standard in their countries. And especially for the Asians, I know that all the Asian people don't really put on, put much makeup on. So you wouldn't be get used to it. Like they really expect you to have like smoky eyes and red lips. So you have to practice a lot for to do those kind of makeups. Hello, can you give us more information about the things that going on after you reach the, reach the call or email congratulates that you got a job because I passed all the interviews and got the golden call from Emirates but I couldn't get the required documents right so they dismissed their offer and now I'm traumatized that I ever if I ever got this opportunity with Qatar Airways will not be able to do the required documents and information right so I'll be really happy to hear about the process with between golden call and the time you get your ticket. Actually, I got rejected after I got the photo link. I'm loading the photo link, so I cannot tell you how the time of getting your actual ticket to go to Qatar, Qatar for joining. But I'm not sure about the Emirates. Maybe the Emirates call you to tell you the, about joining and and the admission. But for the Qatar ways, they just send you an email so you wouldn't miss it i guess and they will send you an email with the links to unload a unload a blue background picture like i told you just before so you can just simply unload your document using that link so i don't think that you will need you will have any problem like that but yeah if you already got a golden call from emirates and you haven't got the re required documents i think you really need to Call, call the Emirates or email them about your situation and with your details 
Hey there, I have mine coming up soon. Just wanted to know, did they let you use both your arms or just one arm for the arm reach test? Like I told you before, you for the arm reach test, you will test your your arm each arm like separately. So one time with your right hand and then and then next you will test your left hand so don't forget to reach your arm as long as you can on the wall and then you have to put on your toe like this yeah if your arm reach is not enough if it's shorter than 212 if you measure it by yourself you really need to practice it because that's even that step is even before you take the sentence shooting or final interview you have to you have to pass the arm reach test first to get your chance to have your first interview so it's really important so i guess that's the end of the questions and answers so if you have more questions about uh, being a cabin crew or cabin crew interview if you have any more questions about Qatar race interview or my experience or any other things about what i have gone through you can just simply leave a comment about those questions and i will make another video to answer those questions as well so thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment as well thank you